welcome to another one of my videos. This is a place to inspire and to be inspired. Previously, I did a video on how to sew the viral boxer shorts and I made two different patterns and I have some leftover fabric and I figured with the leftover fabric, I would turn them into matching sets. I'm going to make a top for this red pattern and I'm gonna make a top for the blue stripes as well. I have a couple different ideas for the tops. I wanna to maybe do like a boxy tank top, maybe a baby doll tank top, or maybe two different styles of like a peplum and then a baby doll. I need to see how much fabric I have first to decide what I can even do. So for the red pair, I was thinking of doing a top that was strapless. And I was thinking of doing some elastic at the top and then maybe under the bust as well. And then so under the bust, it would kind of flare out a little bit like a peplum style top. And then for the blue bottoms, I was thinking of doing a tank top that has the elastic at the top, but then from the top down, it just kind of flares out like a baby doll top. And then a couple thin straps. That's my plan. So I don't have any patterns for this. I'm just gonna be winging it and eyeing everything. For this project, you're gonna need a sewing machine. I have mine linked on my Amazon storefront in case anyone's interested. It's a very simple, beginner-friendly sewing machine. It's nothing crazy, but it gets the job done if you're new at sewing. Some elastic, I got this from Hobby Lobby. It was $2.29. My measuring tape, my scissors, and I'm gonna use blue chalk for this project because the white chalk I don't think would show up very well on these patterns. So we're gonna use our blue chalk and hopefully we have enough fabric to do this project. So I think I'm gonna need width wise about 40 inches and then with the elastic it's gonna shrink. Okay, so I have more than 40 inches on this piece going this way, and I'm going to cut off this extra. So I also have these scrap pieces that I can use. So I don't think this piece is gonna be long enough after I hem it. So I might need to figure something out to where I cut out a sliver for like the top portion. So now I'm gonna take these scrap pieces and I'm gonna have to attach a few of them together because they're not long enough. So I'm going to cut off this extra here so I have this thicker piece. And then I'm gonna use a segment from this one to get to our 40 inches and then have this be an attachment for the top piece. And then this is the bottom part that will flare out. So right now I'm going to attach these two pieces so that I have one long piece. And then once this is attached, then we're gonna attach it to this. And then we'll start sewing on our elastic. So now we're gonna attach these pieces together, just like this. And then so once this is attached, this is gonna be the bust area, and then this will be below the bust where it flares out. So for the hem on the top, we want it to be really thin. So I'm just going to fold a little bit over like this and then fold it one more time. It definitely helps if you have an iron to help hold the shape, but I don't have time for that. So now that we have the top hem, we're gonna do the exact same thing to the bottom. Okay, so we have our top hemmed and we have our bottom hemmed. Now we have our elastic and we're going to attach our elastic to the top here and then also to this part here. So we're gonna take the elastic And you're going to measure the top and then decide how tight you want the elastic to be. Okay, so I'm going to 
cut this piece here and this is going to be for the top and now for the bottom we're going to do the same thing but under the bust for attaching this you're going to start at one end you're going to lock the stitch and then you're going to pull the elastic as you go all the way down oops <laughs> And you're going to pull your elastic as you go all the way down. And then when you're done, it'll scrunch it up. how it's looking so far we still need our elastic under the bust but once we do that I think we're done with this top well then we just have to attach the sides thing left to do for this top which is just doing a straight stitch down the side to connect it and then turning it back inside right and then we're done with this top then we still have to make one more So we have our first set complete. At the end of this video, I will try them both on together. Next, we're gonna move on to the blue. This one's gonna look very similar to this, but without this elastic and with added straps. And since this piece isn't long enough, I'm going to cut out a little sliver here to have as like a band at the top, but I'm only gonna have the elastic at the very top. If that makes sense. Excuse me. So just like the other top, we have to attach these two pieces together so that they're long enough. And then we can cut this to here and then we can attach this top band to the bottom piece. So I decided before we attach the top band, I'm going to add my elastic to the bottom piece first so that this can have the rouging. So the band will stay flat, but then the rouging will start from here down. So I've already hemmed this little strap for the top portion and then I added the rouging on the bottom part and I marked on this top part where the front of it's going to be because I'm just going to lay this on top of the elastic and then from this little mark over I'm going to stretch the elastic with it so that I can still get it over my head. This is the front where the rouging only starts here. And then for the back portion, the whole thing is stretchy so that we can get it over our head. So now we can put the right sides together and do a straight seam all the way down. And then we'll try it on and decide where we want the straps to go. So this is how the top is looking so far. And all we have to do now is decide where the straps are gonna go so that I can mark them and then sew on the straps. So now that I finally completed both sets, now we're going to do a little try on and see how they turned out. I love the way this one turned out. I did end up shortening the top just a couple inches. But overall, I think it turned out super cute. And for the blue set, I really love how the neckline turned out. The only thing I would change about this set is that I wish that I had extra fabric so that I could have made it a little bit longer. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for next week when I post my next project.